J.R. Smith, who for some reason had no idea what the score was, thought that they were leading. And uh, do we have sound, uh, post-game sound? With uh, Here's J.R. Smith talking about that uh, rebound and not sure what the score was. Tie ball game. Uh, we had a timeout. And I was trying to get enough space because uh, I obviously can't just stand it right there. Um, trying to get enough space to bring it out to get it, maybe get a shot off. And then I see him, I look, I looked over at Brian. He looked like he was trying to call a timeout, so I just stopped. And then uh, the game was over. You knew you were tied. You didn't think you were leading. No, I seen it. I knew we were tied. It's just I thought we was gonna call a timeout because I got the rebound. I'm pretty sure everybody didn't think I was gonna shoot over Katie right there. All right. Uh, he had no idea what was going on. I mean, let's just be honest here. There's no doubt in my mind. He looks clueless. Like, his reaction when all of a sudden LeBron's yelling at him, like, wait a minute. what? Oh, that's what those bright lights are for. That's the scoreboard. Oh, okay. And if you think you're tied, call timeout right away. Or put it right, up, right back up. I mean, maybe Durant fouls you. Something. You're an 80% free throw shooter. It didn't make any sense. Uh, George Hill gets a hall pass here. He misses the, uh, you know, the second of the two free throws. But Jr. to take it out. There's only how much time is left. There's no time for you to dribble it out and then call a timeout. So it didn't make any sense. I get it. Jr. doesn't want to be remembered as one of the, you know, boneheaded moves that we've seen in NBA Finals history. But it's attached to him because he had no clue what was going on. Yeah, Paul. Does he make it worse on himself long term? By saying, I, I knew what the situation was instead of saying, I, I blew it. My bad. I'm on me. Moving on to game two. Because this is his legacy. He's probably not going to do anything else in his career that uh, gets a lot of notoriety. Positive. But by, by sticking by his guns and saying, I knew the situation. when It almost makes it worse in some ways that, hey, I knew what I was doing. I'm going to rebound. I'm going to take it out. And then there's no time left on the clock. And then I'm going to get it to LeBron. It, it just feels like he needs a better script writer here. Yes, McLovin. Well, the, I, I heard people talking about it after the game, and they said, well, this has happened to other NBA players. Like that time, oh, J.R. Smith did that. <laughs> like the three other NBA examples were J.R. Smith. All, so he has a history of doing things like this. All you need to hear is his coach, Tyron Liu. What did you say or what did J.R. say to you in, in the locker room about the, the play at the end of regulation? He thought, he thought it was over. Thought it, was, thought it was over. Thought we were up one. Yeah. Busted. Yeah, that's it. That's all. I mean, what else do you say? It's obvious. It's the truth. He had no clue what was going on. And, and it's off a timeout. You had time to just sort of survey the situation. You should know how many timeouts you have and, uh, you know, how much time is left on the clock and what the score is. Like, that, that's just high school stuff. You just go, okay, uh, do we have a timeout. Uh, okay, uh, if they get the ball, do we have a foul to give? You know, you just ask simple questions that you would you take inventory there. That's all. That's what that's what high school kids do. Yes, he. You know, hindsight, obviously, uh, is a lot easier to look at. But it, And Kevin Durant is a big, tall dude who could block some shots, but you've got him backed up right under the basket. Like, his... <laughs> He's already compromised defensively there that it would have been a little easier to get a shot off. Well, I at least I want a shot there than take it out. And then all of a sudden you let Golden State reset their defense or you call a timeout. It's fake. Go up. Maybe you get a foul and you're an 80 percent free throw shooter. Yeah, McLevin. I'm going to admit, I was screaming, foul him, foul him, as he's running out of the line. My mind saw him dribbling out, and I said, oh, well, you got to foul him. He wouldn't be dribbling out unless. So I lost track of the situation, too. I mean, it, it was a little weird. He didn't expect the J- rebound. JR confused us because yeah. you're watching and you're going, wait, what does he know that nobody else knows? For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app. 